out of Quadash from One Nation One Power. Shalom. Shalom Israel. This is Chaya Banya Sharala from One Nation One Power. Shalom. Shalom. This is Brother Guy Kwa from One Nation One Power. All praise and glory to the Most High Ahaya by Shem Shaya coming to his truth, bringing his truth on to my brothers and sisters out there. We're all to our tribes. Shalom. This is Elder Yo from One Nation One Power. A demon stomper. Wanna just say shalom. Elder. Call the child. Praise Most High. So that I can be free. So I give myself to you. Love me like you. So I just want to love you the way you love me, Lord. I just want to love you the way you love me, Lord. I just want to love you. Shalom, brothers and sisters. This is Outer Quadaj from One Nation, One Power. And I want to give all glory, honor, and praise to the Most High God, Ahaya, which is written in Exodus chapter 3, verse 13 and 14. And his son, who people call Jesus Christ, which his name is Yeshaya in the Hebrew, and the Ruach Quadaj, which is the Holy Spirit in Hebrew and I'm coming to you today with a message brothers and sisters we are seeing the separation happen with our other brothers and sisters in these other camps which is GOCC IUIC see I ain't, see I'm gonna call out the names because I don't I, that's who I am Brothers and sisters, we're going to see the separation happen according to the Book of More. But I wanted to come on today to motivate you even more, to help you grow, brothers and sisters. Even though these elders of Israel are not going to pick up this other book. All right, they're not going to pick it up. They're going to say it's false. Right, and they're also going to say this is false. All right, but we know that the Holy Spirit has led us, brothers and sisters, on a different path, on more knowledge, brothers and sisters. So keep going with this understanding, keep following the Holy Spirit, don't quench it. You see, when, when you put limits on the people of God saying, don't do this, don't do that. You're quenching the Holy Spirit. You're stopping the Holy Spirit. And just like my outer said, you're going to see, you're going to see what they're going, going to uh, be teaching the people in a couple, just that corny, that crusty old doctrine. Yeah, I heard him, you know, I heard them that, you know, we the new kids on the block, this and that. But you're going to see, just like the disciples, brothers and sisters, when the high priest was trying to stop them. What did, Pete, what did Peter and uh, Peter say? We must obey God rather than men, right? So, brothers and sisters, this is just a word of encouragement to keep going, to keep getting on your knees, to keep worshiping God, keep following the spirit of God to keep going with these books that the most high is going to that the most high is going to reveal and keep on revealing this information brothers and sisters but i wanted to come out of this book real quick holy spirit led me into this these words today to share with you all right and this is this is chapter 17 of the seal book of more all right, I'm gonna share it with you, with you, with the, what the Holy Spirit told me to tell you guys. All right, and we're gonna start at verse 16. So, you know, I'm not gonna go into a couple more precepts. I'm not gonna, you know, I'm just gonna, this is just a word of encouragement. All right, uh, I do have a lesson planned. Uh, I've been working like a slave for the last couple of days, 14 hours. 14 hours every day at my job. Um, 
You know, I'm Santa Claus. If y'all could get, if y'all could guess what I do for a living. All right. <clears throat> so I'm gonna keep. Uh, let's 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 go to the Silk Book of Mormon. All right, and we're gonna go to chapter 17, and we're gonna start at verse 16. And it came to pass, while the voice still spake, I looked and saw the earth, yea, all of it. So this is Moses, he's seen all the earth. And there was not a particle of it, which I saw not. So he's seen everything. Discerning it by the spirit of God. And I have also seen inhabitations and there was not a single soul that I had not seen. He's seen everybody. Most High just gave him his eyes. He said, go ahead, Moses, look through my eyes. Let's keep going. And his number was great, even as countless as the sands of the shore. This is the children of Israel. Okay, this is the children of Israel which he's seeing. He's seeing the world right now. And I saw many lands. He did what? And I saw many lands. And each was called the world. A and each was called the world. And there were hab habitants on its surface. Then I understand who were the righteous spirits. Then what? Then I understood. Then I understand the righteous spirits. Let's keep going. Who had perfect in the heavens or perfected in the heavens and I was able to understand who were those ancient spirits who made up the priest who were ordained who were what ordained by God before the foundation of the world before what the foundation of the world of mankind because they have been endowed, they have been what? They have been endowed with knowledge since they are born. Since they are born. So you telling me Moses is looking at the world and seeing the priest of God that were chosen, the righteous spirits of the Most High God that were chosen from the foundation of the world endowed with knowledge since they were born. Come up on out of here. This is what Moses is seeing. Let's keep going. This is you, brothers and sisters. You that are coming to this knowledge. You that are perfecting this knowledge and coming and feeding your people. Let's keep going. Because we ain't raising church members. We raising disciples in this ministry. Let's keep going. Verse 18. These have been anointed. They have what? These have been anointed with the knowledge of all things from the beginning. Oh, uh, come up on out of here. I'm going to read that one more time. These have been anointed with the knowledge of all things from the beginning. From the what? From the beginning. Most High already gave you this knowledge. Most High just turning that light switch on. You already have it. You ain't the spoil of the Holy Spirit. Let's keep going. Not needing, not what? Not needing, not what? Not needing anyone to teach him. Not needing anyone to teach him. Not no GOCC, not UI, IUIC. Not, not, the just the Holy Spirit going to teach you, brothers and sisters. Let's keep going. Something about the kingdom of God. Let's, let's read that again. Not needing anyone to teach him something about the kingdom of God. Verse, let's keep going. But being from infants endowed with such divine attributes, they feel the desire to serve God and seek from him the knowledge. You see that? This is you, brothers and sisters. Don't let nobody tell you what not to read and what don't let nobody stop you because this this is just a light switch the most high is putting on you will already sanctify with this knowledge and now when you read this knowledge it's all coming back let's keep going for how much 
to these will be shown the ways to which they must walk before God. Come on out of here. Let's keep going. Verse 19. But it came to pass, but it what? But it came to pass that I cried unto God, that I what? I cried unto God. I got on my knees. I'm worshiping three times a day. I'm not just watching lessons, but I'm seeking him for myself. I cried unto God. Let's keep going. Saying, tell me, bespeech thee. Why are these things so? Moses is like, why are these things so? I'm crying to you, Father. Explain. And by what manner have ye done them? And the Lord God said to me, and the what? And the Lord God said to me, Moses, I have done these things for my own purpose. Oh, come on out of here. I have done these things on my own purpose, not on yours. On my purpose. This is my work. I must do this. This is what I came to do. Let's keep going. Here is wisdom. And abide in me. And do what? And abide in me. No one else. Just follow me. Brothers and sisters, just follow God. Let's keep going. It also continues in you. And through you. And through those who I call. And, th and do what? And to those who I call. You being called, brothers and sisters. Let's keep going. For how much I call no man. For how much I call no man. Let's keep going. Unless they get elected. Unless they get elected. For not even my own be own only begotten was chosen by me. Not even Yeshua was chosen by him. Not even, this is what it's saying. Let me read that again. For not even my own only begotten was chosen by me. But this one being with me from the beginning, just like you was with him in the beginning, acting as a master of my of works of all creation, elected himself. He did what? He elected himself. Saying, Father, he said, what? Saying, Father, here I am, send me. Here I am, send me. Here I am, send me. This is what Yeshua said to the Father in the beginning. He said, here I am, send me, Father. Send me to die for my people. Send me to the earth so I can speak to my people. And this is what's going on today, brothers and sisters. He did this with Isaiah. You can read about this in Isaiah chapter 6 and verse 8. He says, here I am. Send me. Everybody that was an infant, had, ever since you was born, brothers and sisters, you were endowed with this knowledge. And now the Most High is turning on the light switch. Follow the Most High God, brothers and sisters. Let's keep going. We're going to jump to verse 23. Yet behold, this is my work and my glory to bring to pass the immortality and eternal life of men. And now Moses, my son, write these things which I tell you at this time. For in the days when the children of men will shall despise my words. Oh, the book of more. I put it down. The Book of Mormon, nah, 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 nah. Don't go into that one. I read the whole book already. I've been in this game for 15, 30 years. Don't put it down. Let's keep going. And shall take away many of them from the book. So what? Shall take many of them from the book, which thou shall write, which thou shall write. Behold, I will raise up another like unto thee. I will what? I will raise another like unto thee. And they will begin to <clears throat> within reach. Let me read that again. And they will again be within reach of the children of men by these things that you record now. Just keep going. So that these words of mine may find all those who believe in my everlasting gospel. Let's keep going. That this knowledge 
which will be revealed by this man whom I will raise up in the last days like you and will gather again those who belong to me and those who belong to me not everybody belongs to them brothers not everybody belongs to the most high brothers and sisters for they are my elect to support this to support this my work and restore the heritage of my people in the final part in the fullness of times let's keep reading Thus in the face of thunder and lightning, sounding of the trumpets proceeding from the heavens, the Most High, the Almighty, made me deliver this law with a sublime display of authority so that not only the nation of Israel would know that he is the only true God and alive and alive over the, over the sons of men, but that this people in every dispensation may know that there is no God besides him. And as he had placed full trust in the nation of Israel throughout all his generation, keep this record under sealed, excuse me, under sealed, so that his chosen in the last days, his chosen in the last days, his chosen in the last days, may by whom, by those priesthood, Essenes, which gifts of God wrapped in the settlements of the children of men manifest among the people of his church in the final part in the fullness of time. Brothers and sisters, this is just a message of encouragement. These are not my words. This is the most high's words, brothers and sisters. And if you are part of any of these camps, brothers and sisters, you need to read these books and allow the Holy Spirit to make you recognize what the Most High has given you from the beginning of the world. Don't quench the Holy Spirit by these men that are being raised up to say, oh, I've been in this game for 30 years. I know all things. You don't know all things. The Most High is barely showing you, barely raising this up. Brothers and sisters, light keep going on. But brothers and sisters, this is this is outer quadash from one nation, one power. And I just want to give you a word of encouragement, keep you going, don't get distracted. This is all from the Holy Spirit, brothers and sisters. How many people we we bat in the last month, brothers and sisters? This is the work of God. We baptized over sixty people. We didn't beg them to come down here. The Holy Spirit told them to come down here to get baptized. So this is the work of the Most High God, brothers and sisters. So this is out of Kodash from one nation, one power. I want to give all glory, honor, and praise to the Most High God, Ahaya, in the mighty name of Yeshaya, and the Ruach Kodash. So be it.